Once they were in the truck and moving, Martin turned toward his companion. He couldn't help but laugh as he looked at the girl. Tell me, what's with the glasses? I forgot I had these on. Do you think they're too much? He nodded as she took them off. I was told to ugly down. That Taylor had a live-in love that was jealous. Is that so? Martin pulled up to a red light, waiting his turn. Was she kidding? Could she really not know who he was? It was strange. The last series he had been on had been canceled, but it was a hit with the fans. So you've never watched any of Mr. Taylor's shows or movies? The girl looked at her glasses, shrugged, and pushed them into a large purse she was carrying. I don't watch TV or movies. I wouldn't know the man if I met him on the street. What's he like? Is he as crabby as most rich men are? Martin didn't know what to say. He looked at the light. He was still thinking when she spoke. I'm not going to rat on you. I just want to know what to expect. They gave me strict instructions. Stay away from Taylor. I don't mess with spoken-for men anyway, but I need this job. I don't want to make waves. He's not that bad, Martin found himself saying. What am I doing? He should just tell her that he was Martin Taylor. She would find out soon enough, and then he'd feel like a heel. That's good to know, but he's to be avoided at all costs. You now, on the other hand... She gave him a smile and turned to face him. Are you married? The light turned green and Martin felt like he was in one of his own movies. He looked forward and spoke. I'm not married. Good. Then you won't mind stopping over there. I was serious. I'm starved. You have no idea how much stress it brings on working for these uppity ups. Mind you, I love the money. And the homes are something else. But it's a lot of stress. Again, he started to speak, but she went on. I'm sure you know what I mean. You drive for him, right? Is he really picky? A bear if you're late five minutes? I bet he drives you crazy at times. And what about the lady of the house? I bet she gives you the eye. She does. Martin smiled. He was beginning to enjoy this game. All the time. Women like that are never satisfied. They're dating some rich man and sleeping with the... She stopped talking, and as he pulled into the drive-thru, he turned and looked at her. There was a slight smile playing on her lips. What? He asked. I've been going on and on and it just hit me. You might be having a thing with her. Here I am talking about her like she's a dog. I don't normally do this. I think I'm food deprived. She moved to her purse, started digging around, and pulled out a 20. I'm buying. What do you want? That's okay. I'm not hungry. I'm not eating alone, so what do you want? Tell me, or I'll order you something and force you to eat it. Okay. Order me a milkshake and a burger. Martin laughed, but as they pulled into the drive-thru and the beauty by his side leaned over, talking to the machine, things started to be... Not so funny. He could smell her perfume, and if he wasn't careful, he might look down and see more than she intended. He felt uncomfortable and moved his right arm from the steering wheel, hoping to make things better. But it didn't. Now she was leaning over more. Her left hand rested on the doorframe of the truck. Her arm pressed lightly against his chest. She was busy reading the menu and talking to the lady in the window. He wondered if she had any idea she was making him very uncomfortable. Maybe that was it. Maybe she did know who he was and was trying to get him into a compromising position. The tabloids would love that. He looked around for someone with a camera, but didn't see anyone. She straightened, seemed to notice for the first time how close they were, but only smiled and held out the 20. Are you? She said, still staying close. Am I what? He asked. You know, she said with a cute smile. No, I don't know. She let out a breath and looked irritated. Do I have to spell it out? Are you sleeping with her? 